to me, art itself is a freedom to express, to explore. A lot of inspirations come from the everyday life that I like to transform into a more imaginative and fun storyline. My name is Tal Swanakit. I originally come from Thailand. I studied Master of Fine Art at RMIT. My children's books tend to evolve around animal characters that become a part of the society. Studying at RMIT, the professors are constantly challenging you to move beyond your comfort zone and to find new alternatives, new techniques. It really expands my art practice to the next level, I would say. So my latest book is a collaboration between me as an illustrator and Sandy Faso, an acclaimed author. It's called Sad a Dog, a picture book about a dog that has no name. With my children's books, I wanted the readers to be a part of the narrative to become one of the characters or the narrator of the story. In Melbourne, I think art itself is part of your everyday life. You can see art that's bleeding out into the streets. To me, life is about challenges to just be true to what you are capable of. What I'm doing at the moment is writing and illustrating children's books, as well as being an art instructor at my art school. Studying at RMIT provides me the opportunity to share my passion in art with other people. What I enjoy teaching art to children, the ideas sparked almost endlessly. And I think that imagination is important to freely express the ideas beyond the scope of school curriculum. As a facilitator, you're trying to capture that idea and to translate it into a piece of paper. Well, my biggest dream is to be able to do what I do.